This is number 28 of the Trig Final Exam Review. A ship sailing parallel to the shore sights a lighthouse at an angle of 14 degrees from its direction of travel. After traveling 5 miles further, the angle is 22 degrees. At that time, how far is the ship from the lighthouse? Alright, I think it's very, very, very important to draw a diagram to figure out what's going on with this. We know it's trigonometry, so it's going to result in a triangle, but we need to know how. So first of all, my boat is traveling, and I'm going to say it's traveling from uh, left or right to left. So it's traveling in this direction, and the first time around, the boat says that the angle of sighting is 14 degrees. Then it moves five miles towards the left, the way I've drawn this, and it sights the lighthouse again, and this time the sighting is 22 degrees. So what we get here is we get this triangle, and we know that this inside angle is 14 degrees, and I can find this angle here, which I'm just going to make an X for now, by using the fact that we're parallel to the shoreline. So if this is 22 degrees, the other angle has to sum or is complementary to the 22 degrees. So it has to sum to 180 degrees. So if I take 180 less 22, and remember we're in degrees, I get 158. Okay. So that's what that inner angle is. And I'm going to go ahead and draw that in. So I have 158 degrees. And I also know that this side down here is 5 because that's the distance it traveled from the first time that it saw the lighthouse to the second time it, it saw the lighthouse. So that's what I have right now. I can find this uh, angle up here, which I'll make a small x by the fact that the interior angles of a triangle have to sum to 180 degrees. So if I do that, I take 180 minus 158 minus 14. Once again, all of these are in degrees. And when I subtract all of them, I get that that angle is 8 degrees. So let me go ahead and erase out that x, and I'm going to place in 8 degrees. I'm going to use this triangle to find the distance between the ship and the lighthouse after it's traveled five miles. So I'm basically looking for this side here. Okay. All right, and if I look at this, I can use the law of sines because I have angle, side, angle as the given triangle. So that's what case it is. So I knew I can use law of sines. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to look at this, and I have this angle and this side. So I'm going to set that up as sine of 8 degrees over 5 equals. And now the only other thing I know, or what I want, is this side x, and I know the angle across from it is 14 degrees. So I'm going to write that up as sine of 14 degrees over side x. Because these are ratios, I can cross multiply. So I get x times sine of 8 degrees equals 5 times sine of 14 degrees. Isolating x, I get 5 times sine of 14 degrees over sine of 8 degrees. And therefore, when you plug that into your calculator, make sure you're on degrees. And when you do that, I get 8.69 miles. Okay, so that's how far the ship is from, or the boat is, from the lighthouse.